don't believe in shooting stars, but she believe in shoes and cars. Wood floors in the new apartment. First thing I always like to do is just pluck my brows. I'll pull up the hair that I already have that's long that I want to keep and whatever hair is showing under that stubby or I see is about to grow back out, I will go ahead and pluck it. Now the tweezers that I use, it's um, Pro Tools, I think I got them at Walmart. They're just any pointy, sharp um, tweezers. I like using these tweezers because it's easier to roll and pull the hair out straight from the skin and it also plucks that root and it doesn't grow back as fast and sometimes you'll get bald spots and it won't grow there anymore at all. So I like to do my unibrow as always. I don't really get hair on my unibrow um, but I do pluck them just because they're light and they catch makeup and you can see it. Also, I like to move my tweezers on the top of my eyebrow in a straight line and pluck any hair that it catches. And I'll do the same on the sides. I like a very arched brow, so I will go ahead and keep some hairs to make it pointy at that arch and then I'll pluck out the remainder of the hairs to make it round. Whatever hair I missed with the tweezers, I'll go back in with a cotton string and pull itself. Um, I learned this technique from my eyebrow lady. Normally I'll go in and get my eyebrows done with her maybe once a month and then I just do it myself in between just so she can reshape it and stuff, but I like to do it myself. Now basically what the cotton string does is it grabs the hair and lassos it and it pulls it out straight from the root as well so again you'll end up getting bald spots and it won't be growing back as fast or as easily. This does not hurt, um, I think plucking hurts a lot more than actually pulling the string with, um, pulling the hair with the string does. Also this helps if you are allergic or have sensitive skin because it, nothing is being put on your skin like wax, it's just all natural 100% cotton string. Now this is how my eyebrow looks after I'm finished. There will be a little redness but you can always cover it with concealer and fill in with the pencil if needed. 